I have set up this project essential to turntable yesterday and I, I'm very anno I was very annoyed with this issue that I'm getting which you can hear on the speaker at the moment so it's a buzzing it's a buzzing issue right I'm sure you can hear it and based on my research it's actually a very common issue with setups like this and I'll explain why shortly and I'll explain how to fix it it's actually quite simple but before I go into that I just want to explain what we've got here right so on the left that's my old digital domain so I've got my CD transport there my flat transport um, and that's all digital digital stuff right that's a, a tossling switch and this is Zeppelin Air audio file grade speaker obviously it's got five um, drivers and five audio file grade uh, mono block amplifiers so on this this side here this is my new setup right got that so this black cable there so, so two cables there the white one just just uh, power connection for this search uh, strip and the black one there is a uh, it's an audio file grade RCA cable so that's a uh, got those are Van Damme wires the, the red and black ones and they've got new trick green plugs on, on, on there right Th those two ones there at the end now this this one here is the phono input from the turntable okay and it's grounded you can see it's got the ground ground screw there okay and this you look at this cable it's actually made out of three cables right so we've got the left channel the right channel and the tiny wire that you see in the middle that's the earth or the ground the ground cable okay so we've got the ground on right running right, right, running down the middle there so question is why does the bar still happen even with, with the ground connected now i can show you if i remove this ground connector which i can do now the bus will become a lot louder let's get that out so bear with me okay so i've now removed the ground cable and the bus is suddenly a lot louder right and just to prove that the bus has nothing to do with with the turntable itself for those who don't know this turntable this is the project essential too so at the back we've got a connection for the power and we've got the output from the tone arm now the connection let me just turn the speaker off now the power connection runs uh, uh, from there from the DC power in um, to this switch here and that's that drives the the drive motor that spins the, the, the turntable platter so if I turn it on it's just going to turn that that's it and why I'm saying this is I'm just trying to say that there is no electrical connection between this uh, electrical system and the wire the phono wire that's coming out of the tone arm so it's not caused by um, an interference within the turntable and it's not caused by a fault with the phono box pre-amplifier because if I disconnect the input from here the buzzing totally stops so the, the buzz is definitely caused by something along this 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 uh, phono cable that gets amplified by the preamp itself and that's why we hear it buzz so loudly on the speaker right so just very quickly what we've got here and by the way this is the the best sounding turntable you can buy for this price if you're looking for something new this is a uh, this is the most uh, simplistic uh, audio file grade turntable that you can get and everyone says that to beat this the sound quality of this you, you'll be ha you have to spend a lot more so anyway here's the uh, autophone om5e moving magnet cartridge which has a diamond elliptical uh, stylus right so if you look behind it we can see the four output wires for the two channels stereo channels you can see a ground wire there so all that ju is just connected directly to this phono lead here so there's no um, preamp or any other electrical circuit within the 
Don't be wrong. It's, it's just as simple as that. Straight out to here, right? So here's how to solve the problem. Uh, I'm going to before I go into that, I'm going to screw this this lid back on. So I'm going to have, I'm going to stop recording the video and I'm going to resume in a second. So I've connected the grounding lead back on. I'm going to switch the sound source back to auxiliary input again. Oops. To turn, ooh, to turn this on. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so we can still hear the buzzing, but obviously it's a lot quieter now because I've connected the grounding lead back on. So here's how to solve it. I've got this plug here that I've uh, connected this wire to and this is connected to the earth terminal of the plug it's just connected to earth I'm going to use this to ground the system properly so all I'm going to do is take this earth wire and touch it to this terminal here the, the ground terminal as you can hear, the, the, the buzzing completely stops. And now that I've removed the, the grounding wire, the buzzing comes back on. Right, so this is very obviously a design flaw in my opinion, because as you can see, this phono box is powered by a DC uh, adapter. So there's no earth connection between the box and, and the, the power socket, right? So I think this is something that uh, project needs needs to think about in the design. Uh, but in the meanwhile, apart from this buzzing issue, this sounds absolutely great. This is the best sounding audio file grade turntable you can get at this price point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going I'm going to use the same solution, but obviously I'm going to use a better quality wire, tidy things up, make things look a bit more elegant. But I'm really glad that uh, I was able to solve this buzzing issue. So I hope this video helps anyone who has the same problem as me. Thanks for watching.